Fasting is one of the hottest health trends right now. But here's the question. What really happens to your body when you stop eating for hours or even days? Some say fasting resets your system, burns fat, and fights disease. Others warn it's dangerous, slowing your metabolism and draining your energy. In this video, we'll break down the science of fasting step by step, uncovering what actually happens inside your body. From the first skipped meal, to 12 hours, 24 hours, even 72 hours of fasting. And stay until the end, because I'll share the stage of fasting that most people never hear about, but it's where the biggest transformation takes place. Trust me, you'll want to know this before you try fasting yourself. Fasting isn't new. Humans have been doing it for thousands of years, sometimes by choice, sometimes by necessity. Today, it's seen as a way to burn fat, boost energy, and even extend lifespan. But fasting isn't just about skipping meals. It triggers a chain reaction in your body, switching energy sources, changing hormones, and activating cellular repair. That's why it can be powerful, but also risky if misunderstood. Have you ever tried fasting, intermittent or extended? Comment below with your experience. I want to see what this audience has tried and what results you've seen. The first 6 to 12 hours, burning through stored energy. After your last meal, your body still runs on the glucose from food. For the first 6 to 12 hours, your insulin levels drop and your body starts tapping into stored glycogen in the liver. This is why you may feel hungry, a little irritable, or even shaky during the first phase. Your body is literally switching gears from fed to fasting mode. Most people quit here because of the discomfort, but this stage is just the beginning. 12 to 24 hours. Hormonal shifts. Begin. Somewhere between 12 and 24 hours, things change. Insulin levels stay low, and your body begins releasing more growth hormone, Yes, the same hormone that supports muscle repair, fat burning, and even skin health. At the same time, fat cells begin releasing fatty acids for fuel. You are literally burning stored fat to keep going. That's why many people start intermittent fasting, because these benefits can happen daily, simply by extending the time between dinner and your next meal. 24 to 48 hours autophagy kicks in. Now comes the stage many experts get excited about. After 24 hours, your body starts autophagy, a powerful repair process where old, damaged cells are broken down and recycled. Think of it as your body's built-in cleaning crew, clearing away the junk and making room for healthy cells. This stage is linked to better immunity anti-aging effects, and even reduced risk of certain diseases. But it doesn't come without challenges. Energy dips, irritability, and cravings are common. Still watching? Type fasting crew in the comments so I know you're serious about your health. 48 to 72 hours. Ketosis and deep repair. After two days without food, your body enters deep ketosis. This means fat, not sugar, becomes your primary fuel source. The liver produces ketones, an energy source that powers your brain and body more efficiently than glucose. At this stage, many report mental clarity, reduced hunger, and stable energy. But here's the truth. Extended fasting isn't for everyone. It can stress your heart, lower blood pressure too much, and weaken your immune system if you push too far. That's why most people stick to shorter intermittent fasts because they deliver benefits without the risks of multi-day fasting. Beyond 72 hours, what few people know. And here's the stage almost no one talks about. Beyond 72 hours, fasting can supercharge autophagy and cell repair even more, but it also comes with serious risks. Electrolyte imbalance, muscle loss, and even fainting can occur if not medically supervised. So, while science shows potential benefits, fasting this long should only be done under professional guidance. This is the hidden phase that can transform health, but also backfire if misused. So, here's the truth about fasting. 
in the first 12 hours you burn through stored energy. By 24 hours, hormones shift and fat burning begins. By 48 hours, your body enters repair mode. And beyond 72 hours, fasting can transform your cells, but also carries real risks. The point isn't to starve yourself, it's to use fasting as a tool in the right way for the right length of time. Done correctly, it can reduce inflammation, burn fat, boost energy, and improve long-term health. If this video opened your eyes, hit like right now, subscribe for more health breakdowns, and most importantly, share this with a friend or family member who's curious about fasting. And now I want to hear from you. What surprised you the most about fasting today? Drop your answer in the comments. I read every single one.